They look like big trees. They're getting big, huh? This is pepper pants. Mm -hmm. Welcome back everybody. It is Friday evening. We're just sitting outside about to go get supper. I've been letting the little, I almost want to still call them chicks, but they're not chicks anymore. They're getting so big. I've been letting the little hens and the little rooster out to play. We just got them put back up. Jonah and Cece are inside getting cleaned up from playing in the pool and we're waiting for Jake to get off work. Then we're going out to eat. It's catfish night at one of the restaurants that we like to go to and everybody has been looking forward to this catfish night. Even Sissy, she now likes fish. For the longest time she didn't like to eat fish but now she likes it. She's not getting catfish though, she's getting the flounder. I'll be sticking with chicken strips, me and Manly. We'll be sticking with the chicken strips. If they had shrimp now, I would get some shrimp. But they just have catfish, catfish fillets, and flounder. And then they have baked chicken, fried chicken, or chicken strips. I guess I'll go in here now. Manly was sitting out here with me on the porch, but he saw Titus in there, so he went in there with him. I'm gonna shut this door, and we'll go on in and see if everybody is almost ready. Oh my goodness. What is under there? I got a red pepper. You're a red pepper? Yeah. I got a cover. You got a cover? You know, that's the tablecloth. That's the table's cover. <laughs> the red pepper is from the, Tum I think it's Tums, heartburn commercial where it's a giant red the hot pepper like these two people are eating soup or chili or something and this big red pepper like comes up behind them anyway that's the red pepper it has got wings. it's got wings right now so <laughs> the days gone whenever we used to be able to get in a feed and seed barrel and let somebody push us and have a blast. later all the little kids are already asleep Titus has already gone to bed he's not asleep yet me and Jacob and Tyler are in here and we're about to make some cinnamon bread this is very easy and I'm thinking that it's gonna taste like Pizza Hut's cinnamon sticks because we're using pizza dough to make it with so I put in a quarter cup of sugar now we're gonna put in a quarter cup of brown sugar now we're putting in a fourth of a cup of butter that was supposed to be just softened, but it got a little melted plus softened at the same time. And we need a tablespoon of cinnamon. Now we're gonna mix this all together. Tyler's 
get him some of the Aldi iced coffee. They love that stuff, y'all. It's a little bit sweeter than I like for my iced coffee to be now, but they say it's better. They actually like it better than the International Delight. I think I put a little too much flour right here, but it's okay, I got carried away. So this is a very easy way. You could also make cinnamon rolls with this. But yeah, since we're using the pizza crust, I think it's gonna taste like Pizza Hut cinnamon sticks. And we've made, um, gosh, what is it called? It's like the Pillsbury, is it called hot rolls or hot something? I'll pop a picture up of it. We used that to make some cinnamon sticks one time and it really did taste like Pizza Hut's cinnamon sticks. Okay, so we've got our pizza crust here. I don't know if this crust is gonna be big enough to make two of these, but we'll see once I get it rolled out. The good thing about cinnamon rolls or cinnamon bread is it's good for like dessert or for breakfast or for a snack. I don't know why I don't use the handles with the rolling pin. I always just roll with the actual thing. I don't know why. I'll try to stay on the handles here. <laughs> yeah, I think we're really gonna be able to get one out of this somewhere. Um, must have bigger cans of pizza dough because it had a bigger ounce of pizza dough than this can. This can's only I think thir around 13 or 14 ounces. Now we're gonna spread on the cinnamon and sugar and butter mixture. Might be a little easier just to do this with my hands. Um, if my butter had not been melted, it would be easier too. <laughs> you know, then it would just kind of crumble on, but it's okay. We'll just spread it on as best we can. Oven's ready. <laughs> this isn't actually gonna be like cinnamon rolls anyway, where they're gonna be individual rolls. It's all gonna be one big almost like one big gigantic twisted cinnamon roll bread, so it'll be fine. We're gonna start rolling it up over here. And then we're gonna twist it just like that, just like a twisted log or something. Now we're gonna start rolling in until we get it all rolled up. This is kinda like how we made those danishes the other day with the crescent rolls. Okay, now I'm just gonna pinch this together here where it meets so that it stays together. And that's it. This is going on the pan and in the oven for 20 minutes. Okay, y'all, it's done. Jacob and Tyler are both going to be getting ready for bed now. They'll probably try some when they come back down. It's really good, but I will say I like the hot roll mix a little better than using the pizza crust, but it also could be that I used brown sugar this time. I don't remember using brown sugar. I think I just used sugar and cinnamon, like when I made the cinnamon sticks with the hot roll mix. I made cinnamon rolls with that hot rise, hot roll mix too, and we love those, but I don't think I used the brown sugar because the brown sugar almost gives it a caramel-like taste, which isn't bad. I mean, it's not bad at all. It's just however you like it, but anyway, it is really good. All right, I'm just gonna wait for the boys to come down in case they wanna get some, then I'll wrap up the rest of it for tomorrow. Saturday's coming, my favorite day. 